Through trial and error, backtracking and doubt, I felt as though I was in a never ending cycle of indecision with my hair. Relaxer, bleach, color, you name it. But now I'm here, a full year in, and I can finally say I won the battle within. This is my hair journey, and I pray that this inspires you. Let's get started. I often felt as though I was the black sheep of the family when it came to my hair. Everyone around me had long, silky black hair, and there I was with this very kinky, coarse brown hair. Which is how I was introduced to relaxers in the first place. My mom didn't want to do with my kinky hair, so why would I? By the time I graduated high school, I had became a pro at doing my hair. I had had all types of hair colors, haircuts, you name it. But this was my go-to haircut. I loved having black hair because I never really liked my natural hair color. And this was my go-to haircut. It was simple yet very stylish and I became a pro at it. But I wasn't satisfied. So I asked my beautician to add some color. So we started out with some blonde golden honey color. It was cute, I liked it. But you know me being old and decisive Jalen, I wasn't satisfied with it either. And I just felt like it wasn't me. So what did I do? I asked her to add a little bit more. I wanted something to help me stand out and just be different from everyone else. And honestly, this hair color right here got me a lot of attention. It got me on the Cut Life page on Instagram and that just really helped boost my following. I was really digging that light hair color, but I said, you know what? I kinda wanna go a little bit lighter. So I just went full throttle blonde. It worked for me for a little bit, but I just felt like that wasn't me either and I just felt like I was doing too much. So what did I do? I went back to the white cream. You got it, the relaxer. And I went back black as well. This haircut just gave me so much life. I just thought it was easy, it was easy to manage, it was easy to style, and I kinda got obsessed with the whole fragrant waving look. I just thought it was super cute. But of course I had another moment and I got fed up. I think I'm done cutting my hair. I'm kind of honestly over the whole bleaching and damaging and shaving and cutting and nipping and just slicing and dicing my poor little hair. The lies, the lies. <laughs> and I was right. It was lies because as you can see, I went back to bleach and I relaxed it. So you can imagine the struggle my hair was doing in these clips. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I, I just couldn't get it together guys. I really couldn't. So back in 2017, I went back to black and I still just was not satisfied. So I chopped it off and I started my natural hair journey. I gotta be honest though guys, when I first started, I wasn't too sure if I could keep it up, if I could really stick with no relaxer, no color, because I was just itching to do something different with my hair, I really was. Even down to the point, I tried to straighten it. This was a super huge fail, I was just so used to having relaxers and straight hair that was just stuck to my head. So I tried to flat iron it and it was just a fail. So I said, you know what, let me just stop and just really see what God is trying to do in my life with my hair. I know it sounds crazy, but no, he really dealt with me about my hair. So I just tried different hairstyles, just trying to see what my curl pattern was like. I was just so interested in what my curl pattern was like. It was so sad. I just stretched my hair like crazy, just trying to see. But as time went on, I really started to see my hair flourish, you know? It was really becoming its own thing and I was owning it. I loved it. Coiling my hair, just trying new different things, just seeing my hair in a different life really helped me. Even down to me doing braids and wigs, just trying to really see how this whole natural hair life could help me. You know, even with the wigs, the wigs definitely helped my hair grow as well because it kept me not really focusing too much on what my growth was doing. It was just really allowing my hair to chill and just do its own thing. So the wigs definitely helped. But as time went on and I got a little bit of length, I started experimenting with twist outs. Here I'm doing some flat twists and this is what I originally started out doing and they actually did pretty well for me. It was definitely a learning process because I never really realized how important it was to use certain products and how to strategically do the style to make it look good. But then I found out about two strand twists and to this day, honey, they have been working for me and honestly, 
it's really been helping me cope with having natural hair. But what this one year journey has honestly taught me is that my hair was beautiful exactly the way it was the way God made it in the first place. You know, as the months went on, I just really doubted how my hair was and I would just always compare my hair to other people's and that was just wrong of me to do because at the end of the day, my hair is my hair. You know, we may share the same hair type or curl pattern or whatever, but at the end of the day, my hair is my hair and your hair is your hair. And honestly, the key thing about this whole journey is trust the process. In the beginning, I just felt like my hair wasn't growing. It wasn't doing anything. It wasn't curling the way I dreamed it would. But as the months went on, I really started to see my hair grow into what I always imagined it could be. And sometimes I beat myself up and say, you know, why did I ever relax and bleach my hair when I had all of this beautiful hair underneath? But God made my hair exactly the way he wanted it. And that's why I'm glad I went on this journey and you can do it too, so don't doubt it. You know, I'm not against relaxing or bleaching hair or any of that nature, but I'm glad I listened to the voice of God because ever since then, my hair has been flourishing, it's healthy, and it's beautiful. I pray this video inspires you if you are on a hair journey or have been thinking about it. Be blessed, guys.